It's party time. We're all familiar with the various ecosystems found around Florida that exist today. From the famous beaches that surround the state to the ecologically productive salt and freshwater wetlands that make up about 31% of Florida's area, including the Everglades, to the pine and hardwood forests where bear, deer, and panthers roam. But did you know that Florida didn't always look like this? If you go back in time, I don't mean hundreds or even thousands of years, but hundreds of thousands to millions of years ago, the shoreline of Florida fluctuated greatly. On many occasions, due to the changing sea levels over geologic time, Florida's landmass either doubled in size or shrank to a few small islands along the central ridge of the state. This means Florida would have been almost entirely covered in salt water. We know this happened mainly because of fossil evidence. One example is in 2024 when a diver found a mastodon tusk off the coast of Venice, Florida in 25 feet of water. The only way this could have gotten offshore is if the seafloor were once land. Another example is the megalodon shark teeth you can find in Florida's rivers, like the Peace River in West Florida. And the third example refers us back to the Winley Keys limestone quarry. All of this rock was laid down by living animals we know to be coral. That means the state was covered in water. Not just once, and not for any short period of time. This is consistent across the entire state as evidenced by limestone outcroppings, sinkholes, freshwater springs, and seashells everywhere you dig. Florida has some amazing natural history. Go out and find it for yourself.